happened? You all look so different today. Uh, Mrs. Jules, we're over here. You asked us to bring in our favorite pet today. We put them in our seats so they could all get to know each other. <laughs> Enough of the fun! Oh, yes, of course. Now I remember. I see so many nice pets. A dog, a frog, a skunk, a goat, a snake, a duck, a sheep, a turtle, a porcupine, a chicken, and two little monkeys. Oh, and what's this over here? Oh, that's my baby brother. His name's Fido, but don't worry, he won't bite. Oh, what a lovely lizard. That's my pet, Orange. His name is Red. I keep him in a cage so he won't escape. Coochie, coochie, coo! That's very responsible. <laughs> and don't look now, but that monkey is eyeing Red. <laughs> Mrs. Jewel, that's Todd. Hmm. Todd, where's your pet? I don't have a pet, Mrs. Jules. What? You don't, don't have pet. a pet? Well, actually, I, I used to have a pet. His name was King Arthur. Was he a gorilla? <laughs> no. A calculator? No. A baby brother? Ah! Ah! He was a goldfish. Oh, oh a goldfish. goldfish. Great. So what happened to him? Well, my friend. I've always blamed myself for not taking better care of King Arthur. After that, well, I never felt right about taking care of another pet. Really? Well, a pet is a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. And to teach you about that responsibility, Todd, why don't I take the entire class out for a fun time on the playground while you stay here and watch all our pets? Yay! What? But, Mrs. Jules, I, I, I couldn't take care of one little fish without it dying on me. How am I going to take care of all these animals? Oh, you'll be fine. See ya. I don't think that's very responsible of you. You, 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 you. Okay, now, we're all going to relax. No sudden movements. Hey, is it cold in here? I think it's cold in here. No problem. I'll fix it. See? It's okay. I'm just being responsible. Closing the window. Nice and warm. Uh, uh, heel! Uh, stay! stay. Uh, no! Okay. I can do this. I am responsible. I am Tom! <laughs> so, what makes you think you're wayside material? Right all along, I really can't take care of a pet. I'm not responsible enough. Those poor, helpless creatures. What if they end up just like King Arthur? Todd, it is me. Don't give up. King Arthur? Todd, I have come to tell you that my death was not your fault. It wasn't? No. You always took good care of me. Some fish just don't last very long. Tell me about it. But, King Arthur, what should I do? Mrs. Jules put me in charge of taking care of everyone's pets, and I have failed them. Todd, animals and people are not that different. We all rely on our herds, our flocks, our schools of fish. Of course, schools of fish 
or schools of kids. I don't have to do this alone. I, I can get help from my friends. Great idea, King Arthur. Thanks. <laughs> I am taught! Don't worry, little guys. I'm being responsible. Myron, over here. Oh, hello, Talking Fountain. So very nice to meet you. I'm not a Talking Fountain. I'm Todd. A Talking Fountain named Todd? What a coincidence. There's a kid in our class named Todd, but he's not here right now. He's watching all of our pets. Dana, Mauricia, help. And then all the animals escaped, and I need your help to recapture them. Wait a minute. Can you go back to the part with the flying goldfish? Don't worry, Todd. We can help. I hope Fido's okay. <laughs> okay. All we have to do is follow the simple, color-coded, multi-level PRC I just threw together. PRC? It stands for Pet Recovery Chart. We'll use the PRC to ID the TBD ASAP FYI. A-okay? <laughs> Enough with the acronyms! Anyway, the chart is organized by species group. I'm handling mammals. Todd gets reptiles and amphibians, Mauricia, flying animals, and Myron, track down all the fruit pets. And I shall. Oh, what a thrill to cross the deepest, darkest jungle, hunting that most dangerous and elusive of all nature's man-eaters. Actually, it's an orange, and it doesn't eat people. Maybe it doesn't eat you, but I'll be darned if it's gonna eat me. Now, I must think like my prey. Come on, let's catch us some pets. I'm just getting better at this. Nice work, Todd! The pets all seem so happy and well cared for and very well exercised. Did it help you learn anything about responsibility? I learned that a big part... Ah! My pet orange! He's all weird! <laughs> That's no orange. That's a banana! Uh. Not only that, but there's a big bite taken out of it. Uh. What? Don't look at me. You were in charge of fruit pets. Banana orange, what's the difference? Besides, it's not like I ate the whole thing. Todd, where's Steven's pet? Don't worry, Mrs. Jules. I'll find him. I'm responsible. Oh, I saw it in Mrs. Mush's kitchen. But don't worry, it was safe right next to the juicer. No! Oh, Todd, you just in time. I make fresh juice. No, that poor orange. Huh? Orange? I see funny round thing here next to Squisher, but I don't know what to do with him. Then what did you make the juice out of? Oh, I make basketball juice, doorknob juice, and this... I call Crunchy Couch Smoothie. Squisher, he not happy about that one. Do you mind if I take this? Sure, it no good to me. It's just like fish I buy. He useless too. You take? Hey, 
everybody, meet my new pet fish. I call him King Arthur II. Yay! Oh, he's so cute! Isn't it fun to have a great pet? Yes, it is. But it's even better to have great friends. Tell me about it. 